Hello world, this is my next 5 for 5. So this is day 3 and I want to show you uh, Google Maps. A lot of people use Google Slides for presentations. I'm starting to shift and find ways to use Google Maps that um, I didn't know about and I'm getting inspired by, by these other great educators all over the place. So last week was College Go Week. What I had my students do was research some colleges that they're interested in. I just used a Google Form to collect that data. And then of course it spits it out in this spreadsheet right here. And then what I did was, or we did as a class, because the students collected the information is, I just dropped it into a map. And now we have like a little interactive way for our students to present their research and share their research. And so we can zoom in on these different spots and we can say, all right, what is this pin right here? Because a lot of students hear about colleges but aren't quite sure where it's at. So now they can look totally based on location. We are in northern Indiana, so a lot of students did colleges that are close by, which is great. There's a lot of great colleges in the Midwest. And then, uh, as you can see, if I zoom out a little bit, whoops, going the wrong way zoom out you can see some students went all the way to Oxford over here in the West Coast and the East Coast and, and uh, I shared this with the students as easy as hitting the preview button or the share button it's also really easy to share on social media the reason why I have my sethponder.com website up is because here's a project or a website that my students and I started building a couple years ago. It's called South Bend Wi Fi. It's this link right here. Our school corporation was starting to think about going one to one with some type of device, but we found that many students and many families don't have internet at home. So my students said, let's create a map where we can find locations or we can even submit locations. So we made this like little website here. It's just a simple Google form and a map is right on here. And so I'm going to open up the map. So here's the map right here. So the map right now has some really cool things. First of all, so the map right now has an outline of Notre Dame. It has an outline also of a couple areas in South Bend that just have public Wi-Fi access. And then with that Google form that we created, we have students can locate libraries and they can locate restaurants right down here so it's just they know where um, to find Wi-Fi pretty easily if they're saying all right you know we've got a teammate on the north side and a teammate on the east side and a teammate on the south side where can we meet up well let's meet somewhere downtown and well where has Wi-Fi so then they go to this little area and they click on this and they're like all right we can head to chicory cafe downtown we can grab a coffee we can grab a drink and we can get some work done together and we are still trying to populate this here's a way we're going to populate it so i'm going to add a layer i'm going to go down here to import and i want to add a list of all of our schools here in south bend indiana so i'm going to go to recent and i'm going to click on south bend my my list of south bend schools I'm going to choose the position where I want the pin drop to happen. So I want it on the address that I've labeled. And then also, what do I want my uh, title to be or my marker to be? So I'm going to hit the school name and I'm going to hit finish and give it a couple seconds. So you can see I just dropped a whole bunch of pins by using this spreadsheet that I have or this list of schools that I have because our students have devices issued by the schools so they can go to any school in their neighborhood um, and sit outside on a nice day and use the Wi-Fi there. Let me just show you a couple of things. So we can hit so you can hit uniform style and you can kind of change this around. We want a style based off of We're going to change the colors around. So I'm going to change. I want all primary schools or elementary schools to have a little book icon, and I want to keep them yellow. I want to change the uh, intermediates. Let's see. Let's make that one um, red. And I also want the book icon. And then let's make all of the high schools blue. 
and I'm also going to use that blue icon. Well, I guess I got a lot of yellow on there, so I'm going to change. I'm going to change this uh, to green. So as you can see, we easily dropped about 30 pins in less than a minute. I would love to hear how you are using Google Maps. Please comment below. Please send me a message on Twitter at Seth Ponder. I want to make sure that I highlight the Indiana Connected Educators Conference right down below. There is still time to register. It's happening next week, and that's one of the reasons I'm doing the 5 for 5. I hope to see you there. Another thing that's happening this coming weekend up here in the South Bend area is Ed Camp Michiana, hosted by Eric Johnson over at John Young Middle School. It'll be a lot of fun. It'll be a good buildup for the Ice Indiana. We can get to know you, have a lot of fun. Like I said, learn from everybody that we meet. I can't wait to see you at Ed Camp and at the Indiana Connected Educators Conference. Again.